Hi Collective, my name is Delilah, welcome to Starseed Direct. On this episode of Starseed After Dark, we are going to be going down all 12 signs, alright? So let's see what kind of message we have starting backwards, why not? Pisceans, I'm going to pull three oracles and some tarot for you, alright? Pisceans, we have the karmic charge me for sex. I don't know if that's you or the other person, Pisces. All right. You got 528 hertz. If you're trying to call in love, you may want to meditate on this frequency because from the looks of it, you're dealing with a whole lot of, um, you know, you got a whole lot of maybe love making going on or sexual making going on. But um, you're realizing now that that ain't love. All right. Let's see what the third oracle is going to be out of the now or later deck. Mm. You got multiple lovers. All right. So I could be talking to a Pisces that plays the field. Okay. You may need to balance out your energy. You may also need to look into doing a soul tie core cutting. Just keep in mind, Pisces, that when, and I'm not dissing nobody that wants to, like, you know, play the field or be single or whatever, but each person you sleep with, you are energetically tying yourself to, and you're also tying yourself to everyone they slept with, and you don't know what spiritual demons they have. We're not even, like, STDs is also an issue, Pisces. You want to be careful of that. But there's also spiritually transmitted diseases, okay? You don't know what karmic debt these people have. You know, you may also share in the karmic debt that they carry from past relationships. You may also um, experience the effects of any spell work that's done to them. Okay, this is just from research and also personal experience. This is why I'm celibate. And this is why, you know, not saying that, you know, as being a single mother and a single person, you know, I still talk to people, you know, I'll go on dates, but am I going to share my energy with just anyone? Absolutely not, okay? And you may be recontemplating this, <clears throat> Pisceans, after this particular situation where a karmic charged you for sex, okay? Dude, what? You may feel like this person only wants you for your finances, or you feel controlled by this person through the fact that um, they're really good at what they do, or they're good at pleasuring you, and um, or vice versa. Take this how it resonates. I'm getting a visualization, though, of someone going through someone's wallet, okay? I don't know if that's you, Pisces, or the other person, okay? You're going to get a divine revelation about this with the authority card coming out. You could possibly have a vision or like literally what they call a come to Jesus moment. Mm. I'm also getting Wi-Fi may be significant. Wi-Fi. You have to face this head on, okay? There's some kind of aspect of this situation, Pisces, that you are avoiding, Okay? And this could be directly due to the fact that you don't want to face the music, okay? Maybe literally, maybe hypothetically. But the stay card represents you facing a situation head on, okay? Possibly something that you don't want to face. But there may be a divine intervention, like I said, a come to Jesus moment that may be happening, Pisces, that may prompt you to face what's going on, possibly due to multiple lovers, okay? So let's see what the hell this is about. Six of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be feeling guilty about having multiple lovers, Pisces, or this person may be feeling guilty about having multiple lovers, Pisces, and they may be trying to smooth everything over with a gift, possibly jewelry. Okay. They may be trying to pacify the situation 
or you may be trying to pacify the situation because one of these lovers found out about the other, okay? I'm getting that possibly they communicated with each other or they will be communicating with each other. Or this could be you. Mm. They thought that maybe they could persuade you from leaving or staying mad in a particular situation, okay? This has something definitely to do with finances. You may also feel, or your partner may also feel, feel or one of these partners may feel, Pisces, that, you know, you only want them for their money, okay? You may be really good at what you do, and, you know, maybe you're the one charging them, okay? I don't know. You take whichever side of this story fits for you, okay? But there's definitely an exchange of sexual kundalini energy going on here for abundance okay you're feeling all up in your head about this situation you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius and um you really don't know what to choose you maybe like these you like these different options for different reasons you know maybe you're someone who likes you know, a selection, you know, on Mondays, it's like, you know, on Mondays you like, you know, Domino's and on Tuesday you like Taco Bell and on Wednesday, <laughs> on Wednesday it's like whoever texts you first, Knight of Swords, jeez, Pisces, really? Damn. Or maybe this is how this person is treating you. Yeah, there's very strong devil energy here. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. You feel bound to this cycle, though, and I feel like there's definitely an intervention coming in for you that is going to make you face this head-on. It could possibly be due to some kind of tower moment that is pending, okay? It could be financially related or health-related, Pisces. You know, it's time to face the music. It's like you desire a connection that means something more out of this karmic lesson you're learning. One where you can feel emotionally and financially independent without feeling used. 